Hi guys, what's up? It's Sarah and today I hope you're ready because you are in for a treat to say the least. <laughs> if you have been a viewer here, I'm sure you're probably wondering why on earth is Sarah making this video? Well, let me tell you, this video is pretty much actually for my mom. If you happen to not know, which I'm sure you all do by now, my mom is also an author. She writes amazing motorcycle books. I'm ripping her a Last Rider sweatshirt. If you're curious, who's my favorite? It's this guy right here, okay? Cash has my whole heart. And in her books, she wrote about this old-fashioned peanut butter candy. Now, it does have different names. There's peanut butter pinwheel candy, peanut butter logs, peanut butter rolls, divinity candy. It has many different names. And she's promised her readers for so long now that she would give the recipe. However, this is not an easy recipe you can just give out. You need a video. You need all the tips and tricks to go with it in order for it to turn out. So I'm going to warn you right here, okay? I need you all to listen up. Please do not skip any part of this video from here on out or you will miss something very important and this candy will not turn out to say the least. You may want to take some notes, ladies. So we are giving you everything, okay? All the tips, all the tricks. You know how some people write recipes and they leave stuff out or they make a little change so it doesn't turn out or it's not the exact same recipe? We didn't do that bullcrap. Don't you worry, this is exactly how we make it. My mom was given this recipe on a piece of paper and it was wrong. Someone did that to her. I don't know what possessed my mom to have to make this candy. She probably made this recipe about a hundred times before it even started to turn out. I have looked everywhere no one has given out this recipe. The recipe where it calls for sugar. You can find the recipe with some mashed potatoes. That is literally disgusting. That is not candy, okay? Sorry if that's how you make your peanut butter pinwheel, but that's not how we make it. We make it the old-fashioned way with real sugar. It's real heavy, real fattening, real delicious. There's like three sections to this. There's going to be the sugaring part, and then there is the mixing part, and then there is the putting it all together apart. Me and mom have to do this together. My brother was even here on this day because I knew I was gonna be recording, so mom needed help. Um, I typically do the last half and mom typically does the first half. That is how we can figure it. Let me tell you now, grab a friend, grab two friends. It's very tiring to do this, especially if you make multiple batches. And this day in particular, we made three batches. You will see two of them. First one didn't turn out, it was too soft. Even after making this for so many years, we still mess up because we actually haven't made this candy in quite a while. So we kind of forget how it's supposed to look. And we have never written this recipe down. We do this off the top of our heads. We have nothing to compare to. Y'all are getting the goods, okay? Cause you're gonna see how it shouldn't look every step of the way and how it should look every step of the way. So trust me, y'all are in for a real treat because you could actually learn how to make this within five to 10 tries. I truly believe that. Now, if you are an experienced candy maker, I believe you can make this in one try with all the information that we have given you. Now, the major thing you definitely need is a stand mixer. In order to make candy, you have to have a stand mixer. I promise you, it will not turn out without it. Secondly, do not try this if it is raining out. Okay, I know that's an old wives tale as far as candy goes, but trust me, it's true. This will not work if it's raining and make sure it's at least like 65 degrees above in order to make this, okay? You don't wanna make this in the freezing cold. It just really won't turn out that well. It'll get soft and flattened. It's superstitious, but I promise you it's true. Definitely the rain part. Thank my mom for being such a generous queen because this video would not be made without her. That is for sure. This took a lot of work to make this video. So I hope you all enjoy and let's get going. Hey guys, so these are all the ingredients you're going to need. First few steps we're going to do is we're going to set up our candy so that once that sugar is hot and ready, you're ready to go because you're going to need to set all this up first in order for the candy to come out correctly and so you're not rushed, if that makes sense. First thing we're going to do is you're going to make sure you separate the egg yolks from the egg whites and you're going to put those egg whites in your mixer and you're going to beat until you get a stiff peak. Oh, that's a peak. 
that is a peach to show. Now you're going to place about half a jar of peanut butter. Wave you're gonna nuke it for about 30 seconds or something like that until you get it spreadable like you see here. Next step in the setup process is you're gonna place some wax paper on your counter and you're gonna tape it so it stays put and then you're going to lightly butter the parchment as you see my mom doing. You're going to sprinkle some confectionery sugar all around. This setup is kind of like you're making a pizza dough, okay? You'll see later down the line. So now we get to the sugary candy part, finally. And she's just pouring in the ingredients here. For the hot water, she just uses tap water that's hot. And she does that last so the water can take the last of the caro syrup in with it. And then she just gently mixes it all up so that it's all mixed together and she places it on medium high heat and after a while you will see it start to boil like this and she mixes it just by going along the sides like she is here because she doesn't want that part to burn is something burning smells like it don't it <laughs> few drinks now <laughs> mom is very old-fashioned and she doesn't need a temperature gauge but you can always just buy a thermometer and place it in and you're going to heat it until you get this temperature if you don't have one and you want to know how to do it the old-fashioned way she gets a thread like she says see that's a strand okay. i don't want that i'm looking for a thread you want actually want about a half inch thread yeah, but see it? Do they see it? See it waving? Yeah. So right when that baby starts to thread or gets to 250 degrees, you're going to take it and you're going to pour it into your egg whites mixture while it's mixing and see how we're slowly pouring it in. You're going to do that until all of it goes in there. It's quite a little bit of a long process, as you can see. And then you're going to let this mix forever basically forever that is why you have to have a stain mixer or this will not work at all because i have no idea how long it takes i wish i timed it but it's basically a long freaking time okay now once it beads for a while you're going to slowly lift it up to see how the mixture is looking and as you can see here it is still too soft it's running off it should look like this. It should be completely stuck inside the mixing tongs. I don't know if that's the correct word for it, but should be stuck in there like that. Also, another important thing, can you tell how matte it is? It is no longer glossy. That is exactly what you want. Now, this was obviously our failed attempt because it should not be running out like that. And see how it's glossy. It's been a long time since we've made this candy. We're doing all the hard work for you because we're showing you exactly what you don't want. So it actually works out good that we messed up the first batch. It should look like this. Now this is perfection, okay? You can see the difference here, how it should look. It should be hard to get out, sticky, it's matte, it's beautiful. This is exactly how it should look. It's perfect. So I lost the recording of when it was at the perfect consistency. But anyways, you see how it goes. You take some confectionery sugar, sprinkle it on top. Make sure your hands are good and sugared up too. That way it doesn't stick to you and you just flatten it out. And this is the part where you make the pizza. I did the hardest part. What? Ran into the store? Supervised. <laughs> now i don't know if you can tell but i'm actually the person that does this part because my mom absolutely sucks at flattening it out you'll see here in a second how it came out when it was perfect when i did it of course i better get that first end piece with all the peanut butter and now it's over <sighs> this is about how thick you want it um i'd say about a fingertip length deep now you can see the master aka me spread it out perfectly beautifully like a rectangle pizza it should look like and you're going to uh spread the peanut butter all around it and that makes the marinara is this pizza analogy getting old i don't know but you see what you're doing here now i like to spread it leaving about i don't know an inch around the sides because you don't want it to be overly excessive peanut butter squishing out and this is about how thickish you want Want your peanut butter if this helps again i don't know now that you finally have your beautiful candy pizza you're going to start rolling it into a log 
The easiest way to do this is make sure your fingertips are super coated in the sh confectionery sugar and you're going to slowly lift it up and you're going to pat some confectionery sugar underneath if it starts sticking to the wax paper. Basically, if it's sticky on something, just use a bit of confectionery sugar to pull it off. Now for fun, so you can see how it looks when it's too soft and wrong, I'm going to show you my mom rolling hers earlier. It's hilarious. Prepare yourself. <laughs> This just pisses me off. This is why I quit making this fucking candy. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's just a big piece of glob. It's hard. It's just falling apart in my hands. It is hollow soft. Okay, now back to the master. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Now all that's left is to cut it up, guys. We finally did it. There we go. Now we're getting into it here. I'll take that bitch. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Y'all yeah. got it perfect. It's not too hard or soft. Pray that you have enough to feed your whole family. Good luck. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's fucking good. That is perfection. Oh my god. Wow, we killed the game. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, I really, really, really hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't get frustrated if it doesn't work out. It didn't work out for the hundredth time for my mom, I swear. It took her several tries, so just keep trying. Watch this video several times. Do exactly how we do it and the things that we do it. And you know what? You should figure it out within the tenth try, so <laughs> good luck. And until next time, I will see you then. Bye! Why don't you get it by Tell me what you learned in grade school Give it to me like you want it Did you forget that code?